Hey, what's up, mini chicos and chiquitas? Welcome to Uncle Cam's uh, crazy local banana story time o'clock. Once upon a time, there was a stink ninja who huffed and puffed and stole my boy Lee's super handy cool key. Totally uncool, mini muchachos. And so Tweedle Tuff, Tweedle Fluff, and yours truly tried to get it back. We kind of failed, though. Well, mostly them. And now the evil queen and her council totally have both keys, yo. So the lady in black, like, used the keys but kind of cracked the pyramid the wrong way and got majorly whacked by some, like, ancient snooze button. Buenos noches, senorita. Which brings us to Sleeping On Beauty, a.k.a. Niles Peg, a.k.a. the nerd who kept taking out the book from the library. Did the pyramid cast the sleeping curse on him too? That's for the junior nerdettes, Jenny and Tina, to figure out. And the handsome prince found out the court jester was also being blackmailed. So they joined forces to bring light to the darkness, man, and restore peace and like mucho, mucho handsomeness to the kingdom. What? I'm like oozing with handsomeness. Take the heat, no, now gotta go so low I don't wanna do the time, so I just gotta take what's mine, whoa Maybe she was bluffing? Then again, maybe she wasn't! Dad! Nature field trip! Like in the outside? That's super lame styles, yo! Like what are we supposed to do? Watch squirrels climb trees and moles like dig stuff? Cam! You are having it backwards, okay? Squirrels live underground. Moles live in the eucalyptus trees. Eucalyptus? You're thinking koala bears, dude. No, me be thinking you be moving your squiggly, super sizey head. So Holga can I spy with the good and a happy chai, his possible being most mortal enemy of all time. Koalas? Squirrels? Yuka trees? Whatever. Out here we're free, man. No more blackmail. Time to get back to nature. Back to nature! No one to blackmail me! That's all I got, but it's pretty killer, eh? Uh, yeah, sure. Dude, you keep looking at him like that, he's gonna kill you. Holger, no care. Steve be trying to steal the Greta. Why she like him? His head is most small and his muscles too large. And that woman in black totally got zapped and no one even cared. Dude, if you think that's crazy, guy that stole your key, you know, sulfur-smelling devil ninja, he's total evil villain material. Guy runs a casino and has a snake. Whoa, all he's missing is a marble for an eye and a hook for a hand. Yeah, right. And get this. Guy asked like a zillion questions about you and your parents. Really? My parents? Mr. Langhorn's classes today are canceled due to a field trip. What? I was just... Biffy? You're breaking up. Uh, yeah, we're out in the middle. Hello? Biffy? Still there? Hey, don't even bother. Oh... Work library later. Um, are you stalking me? No, I was just pretty crazy with the whole zapping thing, huh? So, are you heading to the library now to, to research the book? Gee, Inspector Obvious, what gave it away? Be holding the book or be walking to the library? Is that attitude thing of yours on a constant loop? Something like that. I'm at my scheduled place of arrival, so why don't you go to yours? Check it on Niles Peg or something. I already went to the detention room. It's locked. Wait, maybe we should just... What, uh, work together? Heck, maybe you're right. We could be Bonnie and Betty Brave, detective sisters in the case of the... Uh, would you get off my back and go away already? FYI, they totally solved that case. You know how? Betty changed her bad attitude and realized Bonnie was just trying to help her. Ever heard of a little something called personal space? Whoa, G go back. Okay, that is creep to the pee. Yeah, tell me about it. Locked. Shoot. <gasps> but I don't care what he said. Hold on. Mr. Ping, you finally arrived. Sit. How'd you know I'd be here? 
Because your first period class was cancelled, and as we all know, all your free time is... Detention time! Oh, Miss McAdams, didn't realize you were here. Howdy do, chickpeas do. I'm not here, and neither are you. You're controlling him with your phone? I'm controlling him with my phone, the stock market with my investments, the politicians with threats, your food supply with what's going to be the hottest new ranch flavor. But the one thing I can't seem to control is you. Well, uh... Take that as a compliment and shut up. Here's what I need you to do. Draw me a map of all your routes in and out of the underground tunnels. You still there? Move the funds from the IPO to an offshore account. Yeah, I won't be doing any of that. Niles? Niles Peg? Is this Snore's code? One snore for no, two for yes. What happened to you? Did you get zapped by the pyramid too? Okay, is that a no or just a snore? Two snores, so it is just a snore. That's just one snore. So wait, it's not just a snore then. Okay, I'm lost. Each pair is assigned a nature subject. Cam and Cyrus, Biffy and Grayson, Mackenzie and Trevor, Nasasha and Dickie, Holger and Steve. Sir, can I have a different partner? Blondie, meet Muscles. Muscles, Blondie. And you'll be doing a report on squirrel habitats. So, Monsieur Muscles, also secretly known as Mr. Greta Steeler, we are to be partnered in squirrely squirrelitry. Whatever, Lanky. Me and her? Come on, really? It ain't what you think. Just give me that. Not Lanky, okay? Blondie. And you are Muscles. And Blondie is not liking how this day is beginning. So, what we got? Dude, it's from the blackmailer. Mr. President and Captain Top Hat, can you please do me a big favor and would one of you eat a bunch of live beetles? No way. Let me see. And could the other person film it? You decide who does what. Send the video to this email by 7 p.m. or... These photos go to the principal? And you get expelled? Whoa, heavy. So, we gotta... It's gonna be tough, bro, but, you know, maybe if you wash the bugs down with splat, it won't be that bad. And action! Whoa, whoa, back it up, Kimosabi. It don't work like that, okay? Let's let Lady Luck decide. Call it. Heads! Me and Lady Luck are tight. Uh, best two out of three? Okay, none of these books on ancient languages have anything on that particular type of hieroglyphic. Ugh, do you mind not using your nose-picking finger to turn the pages? But the boogers help the pages stick. Gross! Want to know what's even grosser? <laughs> My babies! It's okay, Mummy's here. You injured his spine, you book killer! I'm really sorry. I'd never purposely hurt a book. Oh! Is that what I think it is? Can you translate this? Of course, but only in private. Come with me. Come on, really? If DOD on full blast doesn't work, nothing will. Go for Lee. Mr. Ping, time's up. Email the map. Just finishing it up now. Here you go. Enjoy. Funny. Yeah, I thought so too. Do you want to know what else is funny? <gasps> Mom? Okay, that's 30 out of 50. Those two are definitely BFGF. Wait up. Looks like we got another contender for the mating game. That runt? Don't you know how the world works? Girl possums like that don't go for small boy possums. Hey, you gonna help me write our possum report or what? Here, Smalley, Smalley, Smalley. Grayson doesn't have faith in you, but I do. With a little TLC and a major fur makeover. You'll be the handsomest possum at the watering hole. Who's the handsomest? Well, me first, but you're a very close second. Yes, you are. And I'm gonna lead you over to someone you should meet. She's hot. Me? Mom, you're okay. Of course. Why wouldn't I be? I'm at the salon. 
I'm picking your father up from the airport in 45 minutes and want to look nice. And there's a hot new stylist. Yeah, right. Does he happen to smell like rotten eggs? Hmm. Now that you mention it... No time to chatty chat, okay? Only time to look fabulous. When I am through with you, your husband won't even recognize you. Three quarters of an hour, so he gets in just a little past 9.30. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. You see, that's the thing about things that are funny. They turn ugly so very fast. Okay, there's only one way down. At the back, by a brick wall near a bunch of bushes. There's a tunnel. Who else knows about it? No one. Only me. I dug it. It took five weeks. Just leave my mom alone. Oh, your mom's fine. Our mutual friend is a fabulous stylist. I just hope your dad's around to see it. You know, you really shouldn't have lied to me. Huh? Hello? Dad? Is she for real? Okay, Lee, come on, fix this. Call her back. Call Dad? No, he's on a plane. Call Mom! Your hair is to die for. What's your background? Uh, So? When do you think we'll strike Squirrel Gold? Are you sure they live underground? Greta would know. Ja, and she would also know it is no Squirrel Gold. It is Squirrel Treasure. Okay. So, my Greta, when do you think you will be loving her? Hmm, answers the query. I don't love Gretz. She's just tutoring me. I'm bad at the school. Uh, I'm talking like you now. And then the little book said to the big book, That's my porridge. I don't think the librarian really knows how to translate the book. Gee, you fake? Can you stop doing that? Please? I can't. It's a curse. I I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Okay, Mrs. Librarian, I'll just take that back and we'll vamoose. But this is Niall's book. Niall's peg? Do you know him? Who? Niall's peg. You just said this is Niall's book. Are you putting me on? This isn't Niall's book. Okay, Riddler on the roof. Whose book is it? (coughs) Why, it's his book. Tina? Tina? You here? Jenny? Wow, even the Queen of Shushing isn't here. Holga says, hello. Okay, another strike. The boys are all down, and now so are the girls. So have you figured out what you're going to do? (laughs) You're running out of time. Wait, don't hang up. What do you want? Hello? Hello? Do it for dear old... Dad? Another attachment? She hacked my phone. It's dead. I gotta just go for it. Like now. It's Tails, man! Tide! 99 on! First one to 100, right? It's my toss and your call. Heads! (laughs) No, tails! Tails! Definitely tails! Wait, heads! Heads. Yeah! Look at me, look at me, look at me! Oh, dude, I'm so sorry, man. Well, just think of it as like super crunchy peanut butter. Beetle-eating blackmail scene, take one! If you promise to not taste nasty, I promise to eat you fasty! Uh, I can't do it. Dude, you have to. We're both going to be expelled, man. Don't be afraid to do it. You know, I hear eating beetles is really good for the complexion. Huh? Okay, like, hold the phone, bro. Hey, did you guys buy a paper from Grace and Sue? Yeah, how'd you know? Ew! Wow, dudes, you too? This is it. Now or never. Whoa, y'all! Busted! Mr. Payne sneaking out? Well, will you learn you'll never outsmart an old billy goat like me. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> you were in so much trouble! Hey! Ooh, I'm actually gonna enjoy this! Sir, honestly, I don't know if you are working with them, or if they have control of your cyborg brain, or... Someone is controlling my eensy weensy tiny little robot brain, and that explains why you're out here and not in detention? 
No, but... No buts is right, Mr. Pig. Get ready to meet your maker. Message received. A choir shovel and fill hole. Okay, that's both good and bad. I'll just take the good part for now. Ballyhooed inventor Maxwell Finwich mysteriously resigns as co-director of the world's largest company, Man Worst Finwich. Relax, it's the other hand. Then sudden tragedy struck as Finwich's palatial manor mysteriously burned to the ground. Arson, faulty wiring, or perhaps a haphazardly placed pipe? Whatever the case, the result was the same. His last will proclaimed all his belongings would be given to the poor and destitute. And his vast literary collection donated to local school Alexander Nigma High. <laughs> so the book used to belong to him? Shh! Although it's only been weeks since his demise, there have already been random Finwich sightings around the world. Could it be true? Or just wishful thinking? Lee's seen him, so he did survive. Bingo! Really? We're right? Hmm? What's that? Oh, all I know is I win that toaster. Now hand it on over. Another round? It's Dad's flight. It got in early. Hey! No! Don't! Ah, nature. So 3D. I wish the Greta was here. She's my everything. I get it, bro. She's pretty cool for a nerd. She's not my type. But when she's helping me with quadratic fractions, her unibrow does this thing, you know. It's... Well, it's kind of cute. Like when she is talking about algebra and her voice getting all in the high pitchy place. The Greta is amazingly pretty. And pretty amazing, too. Oh! <laughs> Holger, see what Steve do? You make words go the flippy. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel treasure! Squirrel gold stinks! Holger said it was squirrel treasure! And also, run and floofin! <laughs> maybe she was bluffing? Then again, maybe she wasn't! Dad! Oh no, you don't! So you knew that this book used to belong to Finwich? Shh! Okay, seriously? No one's even in here! Stop shushing us! Please, you showed us that film. Why? Do you really know Finwich? I don't mean shh as in shh. I mean shh as in shh. Lee's gonna freak. Oh, maybe I should tell him that. Why? <laughs> no, I'm telling him. Shh! Fine, we'll tell him together. No, please don't! Mom? Gross. But kind of nice, too. Have you heard the saying, curiosity killed the cat? So this was all just a big game to freak me out? And now I'm so not where I should be. Ow! What the... That smell. You hear? I gotta get back to school. Cut! Mucho convincing, bro. It almost feels like I ate the beetle. Mm. Oh, don't all your rock star heroes eat weird stuff, man? Like, this could be your thing, you know? Like, everybody will be all like, Cyrus is so crazy. In school, he used to eat beetles alive, yo. Okay, maybe I do feel a little bit better. Yeah. I eat beetles, man. What of it? I'm your urban legend eating beetles raw. Ate a beetle thorax just to get to its jaw. I'm a beetle leader. Oh yeah, I'm a beetle leader. Run in front <laughs> Oh, what's that smell? It's so gross. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and then we figured out that the book belongs to Finwich. 
Why are you guys talking in stereo? We made a deal to tell you at the same time because we couldn't agree on who should tell you first. And then you never answered your phone. Yeah, Kimmy's mom sort of screwed it up. Biffy's fixing it. Hey, watch your backs, guys. Things are getting weird out there. Getting weird? Lee, it's dinner time. I'll tell you guys about it all tomorrow. But seriously, these guys mean business. Who means business? Oh, nothing. I'm just so happy you got home safe, Dad. Ha! Huh. How else would I get home? Oh, I don't know. Hey, where were you anyway? Oh, here and there. It's all very boring to a young person like you. Not really, but just don't ever leave again, okay? Like ever. Okay, son, I won't. Come on, let's eat. Your amazing mom made her famous hot dogs. How does she do it? I can't even boil water. That's your problem, Dad. Boiling water is how you make hot dogs. Really? You know a lot, son. Yeah.